Okay, let's see now the events happening at the neuromuscular at the neuromuscular junction. This is something we went over in the lecture, but I will go again and explain it. Uh, again, the neuromuscular junction is the area where the nerve endings, or what we are calling axon terminal, are meeting the muscle fiber. So this is happening in the sarcolemma, and as we said. There is no direct contact between the axon terminal and the muscle. There is a space and this space is called the synaptic cleft. So let's go over the steps of or the events at the neuromuscular junction. I will switch to one note so I can again draw them as exactly as we did in the lecture and therefore you will uh, have them and I will try to draw them like a step by step rather than cram, uh, cramming, uh, cramming all of them above each other. So we said this is the axon terminal. Let's reduce this axon terminal. And here down this is the sarcolemma. Okay, and here this is space is the synaptic cleft. Good. On the axon terminal, we said we have vesicles. And these vesicles are filled with neurotransmitter, which is acetylcholine (ACH). Okay. Uh, we said also here on the sarcolemma we have muscle uh, sorry uh, sodium ions channels okay so these sodium gated channels that prevent sodium from coming in so they are preventing sodium from coming in another thing we said here let's draw it in a different color uh, let's put it green here we said we have calcium gated channels calcium gated channels okay so this is how it looks like at rest Remember the membrane potential at rest, it's positive outside, negative out inside. We have a lot of sodium ions outside, a lot of potassium ions inside. And the difference here is creating the uh, minus 70 millivolt. That is the resting membrane potential. Resting membrane potential good okay let's move on so no. so let me uh, remove these markings you can always get them back I will try to share this uh, one note with you so it will be available for you for like more uh, review okay we said let's try this color um, we said the first step would be that action potential coming down the nervous system okay coming down to the uh, axon terminal now when action potential arrives what it will do it will open 
these calcium gates so this this was one two open calcium gates which means that the calcium let's use this color which means calcium ions will get inside okay calcium ions will go inside let's see the third step let's copy this and see the following step copy uh, nope not this one here okay so we said calcium ions already inside I will remove these okay so try to enlarge it a little bit okay now once calcium ions inside they are going to push these uh, vesicles toward the uh, plasma membrane of the axon terminal so these vesicles would technically merge I oh, know okay we'll, we'll draw them like this these vesicles oops oh, sorry these vesicles would merge okay with uh, will merge with uh, with the plasma membrane of the axon terminal and they are releasing the acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft so third step would be vesicles move to axon terminal uh, plasma membrane and release ACH good then next step yeah this is taking so long time it should not next step would be that the So next step would be that the ACH is going to bind on the sodium gates, right? Oops, this, not this, why it's giving me like this. Okay, so that was number four. ACH points sodium gates and that leads to what sodium ions gets inside the muscle so sodium ions let's draw the um, maybe in green sodium ions get inside the plasma membrane inside the sarcolemma into the muscle good then if you remember we said in order for the muscle to um, stop contracting no, no. 
we need to find a way to simply remove these uh, the neurotransmitter from the synaptic cleft let's clean things here a little bit so all of this is done already I will focus more here so in this case after sodium gets in so in this case the muscle will keep contracting till these gates are closed and in order to close them there is the acetylcholine esterase which is the enzyme that is going to come and break these actually let's draw it in a different color maybe use black so acetylcholine esterase would come and break break acetylcholine and therefore closes sodium gates and this would be number step number six okay so overall again we said at rest uh, all of the um, all of the gates are closed then there will be an action there will be an action potential coming this action potential will cause these calcium gates to open calcium would rush in causing these vesicles to move forward to release the acetylcholine into the cleft acetylcholine will bind to the uh, sodium gates causing sodium to rush inside and that will cause at this stage this will cause will cause changes in membrane potential so the membrane potential now will become negative in outside positive inside because we have sodium ions inside so this is disturbing the membrane potential and this is the excitation uh, portion or the excitation part of the excitation contraction coupling now uh, in order to stop the excitation remember that this muscle the muscles in general don't like sodium to stay inside they are super excited they don't like it it's not their homeostasis so they have to get rid of the sodium to restore uh, the negative inside one way to do this would be waiting on the acetylcholine esterase or esterase to uh, get rid of all of these acetylcholine once these acetylcholine are are done once these acetylcholines are removed sodium gates are going to close again and therefore prevent sodium from getting inside good so i will stop here i know it's not that perfect video but it's just a reminder uh, and then we will move to the next video which will show us the new things that we need uh, to address uh, mainly how to restore the membrane potential and what are the parts of the membrane potential in skeletal muscles